The Pakistani army has lost every war it's fought with India, from the original war in 1947 until the latest war in 1999. As a consequence, it's obsessed with trying to get things right, with trying to turn history around and actually succeed in the struggle against its arch enemy. Repeated defeats has only reinforced the Pakistani army's obsession with India. Pakistani army and the Pakistani intelligence service, which are closely related, have embarked upon two programs to try to level the playing field with India. One is the nuclear one. By creating a nuclear arsenal, by testing nuclear weapons, and by developing multiple delivery systems for their nuclear weapons, the Pakistanis believe they have put themselves on an equal strategic level with India. The second is by the use of proxies, patronizing various terrorist and insurgency organizations like Lashkar-e-Taiba, the group that attacked Mumbai in 2008, or the Afghan Taliban, allows them to fight what they refer to as asymmetric warfare against India. With the cover of the nuclear umbrella, you can be highly provocative with asymmetric warfare, a fancy term for terrorism, and get away with it. And unfortunately, Pakistan's last decade or so is an illustration that in fact you can get away with it. You can blow up Indian embassies, you can attack Indian cities, and because of the nuclear umbrella, India won't retaliate. South Asia can have a really beautiful future if it allows itself to build the kind of economic interactions that the European Union has brought to Western Europe or that NAFTA and other things have brought to North America. If they move that route, then there is nothing that South Asia cannot achieve in the 21st century.